Whilst Graham comes up with a plan to deal with the heavyweight, his next appointment is a practically pint-sized feud, 70 miles away in Eastbourne. Which began after Charlie and his dog Rocco moved in with his girlfriend Harrison's family. Rocco is my almost three-year-old chihuahua. Rocco lives in here with us. He's got his own bed under our bed. <laughs> he is the sweetest little dog. Me and Charlie, we live in um, the caravan um, in my parents' back garden because at the minute we're saving up to actually get our own place and move out eventually. Harrison's parents are more than happy to help the young couple make their way in life. But there's a big problem. <laughs> Rocco, no. Rocco hates her parents' beloved pug, Bilbo. And the feeling is mutual. They hate each other. They'll probably do it all day. When they're together, they will just fight. Rocco, come on. Their daily dog fights have made living in peace impossible. Enough, Nick. I'm really pleased we're not trying to watch a movie right now. <laughs> With a shared garden, drastic measures are used to stop a turf war. When Rocco's in the caravan, we have it green so that everyone in the house knows that they can let Bilbo out. But then when Rocco is outside, we turn it red so they know that not to let the dogs out. It works, but there have been mistakes. Human error. Yeah. It is stressful. Even though we have a system working, it's not, like, amazing. On constant guard, the parents are reaching breaking point. If one of the dogs got seriously hurt, I think that would probably be pretty much an ultimatum. <laughs> an ultimatum which could put Harrison and Charlie's dreams to own their first home on hold. We would have to leave. Um, whether that would be Charlie leaving with Rocco, and then me staying here, or me going with him. I wouldn't even know where we would really go. If he was to go without me, it'd be horrible. If they left, I'd be heartbroken, but I would understand. I suppose, in a way, it'd be easier if they did make that decision themselves, mm. rather than a situation arose where we had to make it for them. Pugs and Chihuahuas are obviously quite different breeds, but quite similar in a way. Very loyal to their owners, quite stubborn, and I just wonder if that similarity is what's causing them to bang heads. It's always really hard if you're working with two warring dogs because you only need one just to spark off just a bit, and they're both up in the air again. With the dueling duo getting into a fight whenever they're in each other's space, Graham's keen to find out how the family are managing the problem. Oh, hello. Hello. Hello, Graham. Hello. Nice to meet you. Lovely Bilbo. Nice Hi. to meet you. Hello. Hi. Do come in. Thank you come very much. Cheers. There's you guys here. There's Harrison and Charlie, isn't it? Yeah. In the caravan. Yeah. Right? With, with, with Rocco. And it's almost like never the twain shall meet, is that? Yeah, is that right? it is, yeah. yeah. So he's got what the caravan and the garden, in effect. They can't right. share it at the same time. They have to share it at different times. Right. So you've got to ask permission to use your own garden these yeah. days. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can't just open the back door. Because they fight. Yeah, they fight. fight. Yeah, yeah. Very fiercely. Aggressively. Oh, I've picked Bilbo up out of a fight. Yeah. And Rocco's still been hanging here. Right. What effect of it is it having on you as a sort of family unit? Cause a lot of stress. Mm. I bet. Sounds like it. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. It is. Uh, yeah, triple yeah. weight with tears and yeah. arguments, really? isn't it? But there's tension between myself, Charlie, yeah. Harrison, and my yeah. daughter and my wife, you know. There's something way out of balance when the two dogs are splitting up a family. It shouldn't be like that. You know, Harrison's mum and dad are being really patient, and I think they're getting towards the end of their tether. Before hearing Harrison and Charlie's side of the story, Graham's keen to see how the conflicting canines behave on their battleground. Good morning, caravan dwellers. Hi. Where's Rocco? Is he there? Yeah, he's yeah, here. He's ever so quiet. Yeah. Do you want to bring him out? Let's <laughs> yeah, see him. Sure. Hello, you're cute. I'll ask your mum and dad to bring... Uh, bring Bilbo out. Do you want to go over that side of the garden? Yeah. Because I don't want to take any risks. Okay, All right, yeah. but I just want to see what's going on. But even before the dogs have set eyes on each other... Oh, scared. ..nerves are running high. 
Oh, it's instant, isn't it? And with good reason. How long does this go on for? It stays like this until we actually separate them and take them away from each right. other. Right, so you always separate them, really. Yep. You stay in there, you stay in there, Feel and, and you literally never allow them to meet. No. But this time, Graham wants them to stay in the same space for longer. And with the family not following the usual routine of separating the dogs... Oh. He's grumbling, but he's gone he's quiet. He's just watching, yeah. To their surprise, the pair pipe down. So what's happening at the moment is every time the family see the dogs fight, which is every time they introduce them, they separate them. They leave them with the thought, we fight. What they don't do is wait until they're calmer and then take them away and leave them with the thought, we can be calm together, we can be friends. The message here is, you can be in the same garden as him and be calm, it's fine. And I'm going to time you. Yep. Okay. And to help me time you, I've got a stopwatch. So if we want to measure progress, we can literally do it with seconds and minutes. Right. And the stopwatch only starts when they're calm. Bring them in then, in you come. But the minute the dogs see each other, they want a dust up. This time, rather than being removed, they're told off. Go on then, tell them. No. No. Stop it. No. no. And when the shouting finally subsides... What should you be doing? Good okay, boy. Good boy. Praise good boy. for being placid. So he's not exactly a happy bunny, but he's, he's a lot calmer. <laughs> Meanwhile... I think it's fine. He's not bad, is he? The family may have got their dogs to pipe down at ten paces, but how long will Rocco and Bilbo keep the peace? I'm going to start the clock now. <laughs> Right, and let's see how long we can keep it before they kick off. Just hours earlier, they'd only last seconds before a face-off. That's it. Good we're already up to, we're just coming up to a minute and a half. What do you think? I mean, I'm surprised that Rocco's actually quiet. After a two-minute ceasefire, Graham decides to up the ante. I want you both just to take one step forward, so we're a little bit nearer. Yep. That's it. There we go. Come on in, Rocco. Come here. Good boy, watch him. Good boy, come on. Right, so I'm timing you again. With the dogs remaining relaxed in each other's company for more than three minutes, it's time to get up close and personal. When you're ready, take a step forward and I'll start counting when they come. Come on, Rocco. Come on. But it's a step too far. No. 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 And the clocks reset. By keeping calm and staying put. Good boy. That's it. Good yeah, boy. Net. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, ten minutes. Their persistence sets a new doggy record. Well done, everybody. Oh, Fantastic. Wow. That's great. The point is, of course, there's still work to do. You've done really well. Um, I mean, the difference from this morning is, well, remarkable, isn't it? Thanks so much. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. With the testy two happy to call a truce, the family can do something they haven't done all year enjoy the garden together with their dogs. There's a happy family sat down in the, uh, in the garden having a cup of tea with two calm dogs at their sides. And, you know, just this morning, that was impossible. I didn't think we'd ever be able to have them together without barking. Mm. And we've achieved that yeah. in, a sh in a short amount of time. Yeah, we have. So I feel like, yeah, we can definitely make this work. 